I told you earlier that I would walk you through the clinical anatomy of breast cancer. On the left is your nipple. And as we move from the nipple all the way down to the stroma, we'll take a look at various pathologies underneath. With a nipple, two major issues that could occur. You could have Paget's disease, or you could have acute mastitis. Acute mastitis, you might have abscess formation. If it's an abscess formation, close your eyes, what does the breast look like in a female there? The central area might be a little bit yellowish and purulent, and the surrounding tissue, inflammatory, will be erythematous. Then you have Paget's disease of the nipple, and we'll talk about that in great detail. We have to. This is mammary type, obviously. From your nipple, you'll then move into lactiferous sinus. The major pathology that we, we, we discussed in lactiferous sinus thus far is interductal papilloma. Would you please take a look at how close your lactiferous sinus is to the nipple? So therefore, any lesion or pathology to the sinus is then going to result in 80% of your patient, what can discharge, bloody or serous. You could also have the mastitis that may affect this area as well, but superficially, superficially. After this, we'll get into our ducts. You have a big major duct, and you have a little terminal duct. Group them together, please, and you call them ductal. In the previous discussion, we began with malignancy. We looked at ductal carcinoma in situ. That means that the ducts here, if they undergo cancerous change with the maybe ductal hyperplasia, and specifically I told you about comatal carcinoma, that the base membrane is going to be intact but that's where you find your ductal carcinoma in situ. And then if you finally go distally, you see these lobules? They're down distal, down by the stroma, or back deep by the stroma. And then we'll talk about lobular carcinoma in situ and invasive lobular cancer. What's then hanging on to the breast? Or should I say the breast is then implanted onto the stroma? So think of this as being kind of like your scaffolding. The stroma here a couple of uh, important benign tumors that we have discussed. Fibroadenoma, how old is your patient? Young, estrogen responsive, and uh, with fibroadenoma, you're thinking about fibrous change. If it's is a small or big fibroadenoma, a small tumor. Followed tumor, age range, elderly, postmenopausal, commonly six decade, tell me the size of the tumor, small or large, large. What about at the increased risk of cancer? Much greater than fibroadenoma. I asked you kindly to make sure that you compare and contrast phyloids and fibroadenoma. I've just given you brief little points. Let's continue, please. Spend a little bit of time. Make sure that you're completely comfortable up and down in the breast apparatus.